Oh shit, did y'all see this? I blame Drake fans. This is what I keep telling you, this is like politics now. So, you know, first of all, Metro Boomin been cheating. You know, feel me? But of course, Drake fans now have exposed, and I'm going to blame this on Drake fans. So, as soon as Metro girlfriend said that, uh, oh, actually, is, is Metro girlfriend pregnant? I don't know. Anyway, his side chick is leaking shit to show that she's supposedly pregnant. Let me see. Main squeeze. What's the name? Show Mari. Oh, shit. I got to get this name right. Let me write down this name. Show Maria. Is this it? Okay. So the friend of... This is some really messy, unnecessary stuff. And even though, you know, I, I'm not the, the, the biggest fan of Metro, you know, I, I can't really be be co-signing the scallywags doing some scallywag shit because, listen, today for you, tomorrow for me. Like, it'd it be like that when it comes to you getting too much pleasure. Pause. in a woman exposing a man because women learn from other women i'm sorry to say right and we all do deal with women right <laughs> except a few a few of them <laughs> anyway the the best friend of a girl that supposedly is metro's side chick i don't even know who metro's main chick is let, let, let's see if we can find metro's main chick metro booming girlfriend who's his girlfriend Chelsea Cotton? Who's that? Chelsea Cotton. Is it her? What? Who's this? Who's Chelsea Cotton? Um. I don't know her. Oh. Okay, apparently this is her. Is that her? Her right there? I don't know. Anyway, supposedly that's his girl. Um, But yeah, the best friend of his side chick, which I'm like, yo, to the best friend of the side chick, yo, to be honest with you, when y'all dealing with celebrities, even if you the side chick, bro, you getting some benefits, man. Free tickets to the shows. You getting access to shit he don't want to go to. You getting some shit. Like, there's some benefits there. Why would you, as a best friend, who's probably the plus one, the tag along, you get to go where the where the side chick goes because the side chick wanna go wanna tell her tell her friends, oh Metro invited me here, you could come, girl. Why are you snitching on the business? Why are you snitching on Metro? Now, granted, I think I've even snitched on Metro before because we definitely I don't know if you had a girl back then, but we definitely was smashing the same girl, and she definitely used to tell me. Everything Metro was talking talking about when it came to Drake. Like, she was like, yeah, I, that nigga hates Drake. And I was just like, thank you. Keep telling me more. <laughs> keep telling me more. <laughs> keep telling me Anyway, I don't know if you had a girl then or not. So I guess maybe I'm sister too. But that's not the point. The point is this. The point is this. I am against this type of behavior. Right? Because I am a man who done got exposed mad time. So I cannot sit up here and be happy that he got exposed too. You feel what I'm saying? But... The side chick put this up saying main squeeze, but my girl is about to be the baby mama. So I guess this is the, the side chick here. This is definitely a seasoned side chick because Metro is allowing her to take a picture. Yeah, this is this is his side chick, side chick. Yeah, Metro is allowing her to take pictures. Like, yeah, Metro is locked in with her. Oh, shit. I always see this. Is what I'm saying. Why are you snitching? I always have fun third wheeling with bestie and booming. Bitch, you just fucked. You know what it is? This told me that Metro just cut the side chick off. I hate when the side chicks get cut off and now they want to expose shit. No, go away. Go be another nigga side chick. We release you to the streets. I always had fun third wheel. Yo, some women have a zero pride. Let's look at the girl who's actually. Um, let me look at the girl who's. We're going to look at both the side chick and, and the best friend. Siren X Wellness. Wait, did she delete her shit? Yeah, people probably like shamed her into some type of 
Anyway, this is a side chick here, supposedly. First of all, you know how embarrassing it is? Your best friend just outed you to be nothing more than a nut rag? Like, it's like, it's kind of like, that's what it is. Why would you want you? Yo, why would you? Yo, I could never understand women who think they're doing something by trying to, like, to keep it real, Metro's real girlfriend, she's going to be stupid as hell if she leaves Metro. I'm just sorry. Metro's just one of the most successful artists, no matter if I like her or not, in the game. If you leave Metro, you're an idiot. Uh, you you got to deal with it. So I'm sorry. Uh, it is what it is. This girl, though, maybe you got a bag once in a while, but you were just pretty much a nut rag that was being hidden from his real girlfriend. Why would you want your best friend to make that announcement that you weren't good enough to be the main chick? You were the sneak around fuck. You were the chick that would would just leave with a wet back and a bruised tonsil and go home and sleep by yourself while he's cuddled up like a baby with his actual girl. All because he went to a few concerts? That made you feel good? Like... If I'm her, this, this is why you realize this, women are retarded. Not all, but like women who think like this. I'll be mad at my friend. Because put it like this. This is how us men think. Bruh, like, like if, all right, a girl like this. So let's think about the mentality. A girl like this, she's not going to date anybody else that's not a celebrity now. So any nigga she fuck with has to be a celebrity. But if we just heard that Metro was smutting you out when he had a girl, you are only eligible for the job of side chick. Word, word to all the side chicks here. If you ever were a side chick at some point for whatever nigga and you were down that bad, whatever, don't tell the next niggas because it's like filling out a job application. If you tell me that you only worked as the janitor at your last job, I'm not going to have you like, I'm not going to have you doing anything but janitorial work at the next job. I'm not going to have you be the CEO. Nigga, this ain't to come up. Yo, if, if you were working, you were cleaning floors, mopping bathrooms, for the last nigga, you're not about to come over here and be the CFO for my company. Cap, all right, well, maybe y'all will wipe her up. Nigga, I would not wipe this chick up just off of that. Nigga, Metro was smutting her out for the free skis. Just, listen, to me, you got to leave side chicks and side chicks. Now, granted, I might not be the best the best person to be giving this advice but this is my thoughts i'm sorry <laughs> she does look good though rate her on a scale of one to ten is this ass natural is this gmo or organic oh huh. you could tell metro probably stop fucking with her because trust me, these bitches is not passing up on, on, on Metro giving some tour tickets to them. You know Metro and Future finna be on tour. These hoes will these hoes will be flying on spirit, following that nigga around just to be like, I'm at the after party again. I'm in the special lounge. Girl, I'm so tired. Sold out dates, cash every day. You know they make up the dumbest captions. Yo, I seen one of these chicks post th these dumbass pictures, right? And I had to ask it, like I, I wanted to like ask some real questions. You feel what I'm saying? The, the uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. <clears throat> Give me one more second. Yeah, man. Am I lying though? Chat? Yo, I seen one of these. I, I seen one of these chicks, right? They had one of these posts. They it like to me, this is my new way of, of identifying escorts. Every day they post a new fucking place and they always tag in a location. Miami! Mykonos! Harry, I'm in, I'm in Bali, I'm in the Maldives, you, they always look like they're by themselves, you never see them with nobody, 
And they always got the perfect pose. It's you look at them and you're like, this bitch is not even a fucking model. Who's paying for this trip? And you've never seen them at home. I ain't gonna lie, there's this one girl. And I and I feel like some people might even know her. Nigga, every fucking week, she even told me. She said, she said, I haven't slept in my bed in weeks. She said that to me like it was a flex. She said, I haven't slept in my bed in weeks. Every week, there was a private jet bringing her to the Bahamas, bringing her to like, it was somewhere in the Caribbean. Her and a bunch of other like bad girls. She'd be working in the clubs. Um, and, and I was just like, damn, okay. So she, she says it, she says it like it's a flex. I'm like, damn, that's some whole shit, man. Like, imagine telling the nigga like, yo, I ain't sleep in my bed in weeks. <laughs> yo, that's some whore shit right there. <laughs> yo, like, God damn. You're bouncing from bed to bed? <laughs> that's what we doing? <laughs> oh, my God. All right, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Somebody said, I don't know if people travel. It's not about people traveling. It's that these chicks have a sponsor, my nigga. Bruh. Yo, let me tell you. Yo, there's no girl that, that works hard to save their money to pay to go to Mykonos, my nigga, and the Maldives, my nigga. Like, bruh, they're not going there. And they ain't going there by themselves. Anyway, anyway. Uh, that was a side rant. Uh, the point is this. So this chick is a side chick. And of course, she's doing. She's recruiting her next nigga. Yep, play with that motherfucking fake ass hair, grabbing her titties and all that shit. Okay, this video means DM me. I'm ready to fuck another nigga. Word two. Okay, she probably gonna pick up another one. She's probably gonna pick up another one. Is this Metro's girlfriend for real? This must be his day one girlfriend. The one before the, the fame. Is this her? I don't know. Okay. This friend done fucked up her plus one. Oh, man. Yeah, he was locked in with this groupie. Like, like th th this is one of the side chicks he trusted. She behind him probably with the camera. This is Fountain Blue in Las Vegas. Hey, I definitely fucked this up. Now, here's... Yo, I hate when women say this. He's all yours, girl. Like it was your fucking choice. No. The least niggas could do is wrap it up if they respect their woman. This is the best friend of the girl who's fucking him raw. She's saying that Metro's nasty for not wrapping it up. She, she not realizing she's saying her girl is just a nasty bitch that will fuck a nigga raw that got a girl who he's most likely fucking raw. <laughs> How you got your main squeeze, but your tongue was just between my bestie's legs. Now that we know, peace, we don't do dirty dick. Oh, is she saying that they didn't know he had a girl? He's all yours, girl. Like, I hate when girls do that. Yo, women... So two girls will find out they're fucking the same nigga, embarrass themselves, and say, he's all yours. And really, they're just saying that to run the other bitch off to that they could come back. That's like that's like leaving the house and act like, yo, I'm out. Hoping the other person leave, and then you just sneak back, you just spin the block and be like, all right, I'm back. You start fucking with the other bitch? I bet. Cool, we lock back in. You ain't leaving. Stop it. He's all yours, girl. Hey, man, message to all y'all scallywags, man. I know a lot of y'all look up to, um, y'all look up to, like, what's the girl's name again? Who dated Michael B. Jordan and Future and all these other niggas? Steve Harvey daughter. What's her name? Oh, Lori Harvey. I know y'all look up to Lori Harvey. Just remember, the most attractive thing about Lori Harvey, I can't remember the sound of her voice. Remember that. She ain't had no story to tell about nothing. We don't know what happened. We don't know if a nigga cheated on her or she cheated. We don't know nothing. She got nothing. She going to do nothing but just smile and poke that ass out. And that gets her the other nigga when she breaks up with the last one. Remember that.
This Selena Powell shit got y'all fucked up. That's how that's how niggas niggas be like, all right, I gotta watch out for this bitch. As soon as y'all get to talking, like nobody likes a chick that's even if you're talking about the other nigga, the new nigga is sitting here and saying, All right, I gotta fuck her, but I gotta make sure I just hit it and get out of here. And make sure she don't see my phone. So, I ain't gonna lie. This is like post... Yo. This video right here is like posting an ad in the Gleaner, my nigga. It's like the old school posting like a... You know, you posting an ad in the Gleaner. Yo, if another celebrity want to fuck on me, pause. That's what she's saying, right? If one of you other celebrities trying to... You know what I mean? Um... Fuck on her. Basically, she's saying she's available. And she's telling you the caliber of men she's used to. She's telling you the caliber of men she's used to. Um, hold on. It's my boy's birthday. Um, she's telling you the caliber of men she's used to uh, by basically exposing Metro. Yo, I used to fuck with the biggest producer in the world. I'm used to this type of treatment. And then everybody who's around that level who's looking at her and, and probably going through the Instagram. Because I ain't gonna lie, like, it, it, it's kind of like devaluing a little bit. You get on these chicks' Instagram, all they, all they got to offer is tits and ass. So you, you're, like, looking through, like, a catalog. All right. She looks like she got some good pussy. All right. How, I want, let me look at the lips. It's, she probably got some good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to tell y'all this is exactly how niggas look at these chicks. I'm sorry to tell y'all. Somebody's gonna be like, that's misogynist. It's not. Like, these women, they don't, that's really all they have to offer. Like, some of these girls. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure she was just like, I'll suck you into infinity. Just give me backstage at the show. You're like, all right, cool. So when these these niggas kind of know what it is. All right, cool. All right. She look like she thick. Got a little natural shit going on. I fuck with it. Okay, all right, cool. All right, bet. Hit her with the DM. Fly out. She follows you to the show. She's over here snapping away for her girls because she got to impress them. Yeah, we going out. You know, you hop out of your Maybach and your Maybach shows it, it, it has the projector thingy with it shows Maybach on the ground with projector. She's over here taking a picture of it because she got to show her girl. She's sitting in the car with you and, and her head can't be like this is like this because she got to go get the logo. Yeah, escort shit. <laughs> you feel me? Escort shit, basically. Yeah. So I don't even. Hey, listen. This is just escort behavior. Metro, I, I don't fuck with you, but I, I can't hype up the shorty. Yeah, yeah. She fumbled her own bag. I'm sorry. Here's the reality to this to this friend who deleted her shit and snitched on her on her best friend. Metro's gonna get a million other girls, probably that looks better. And y'all are gonna be back online waiting to get in every club and buying concerts to go to his show with future. Who lost? His real girl gonna get mad for about mm, four days. He gonna buy her some gifts because he's that rich. She gonna realize, well, you can't hate from outside the club. I'm still in the club. And if she's smart, she'll get the fuck over it. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you dating Metro Boomin. <laughs> yeah, life goes on. So, Pass her back to the streets. Another rapper will, 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 will take the responsibility and life goes the fuck on. All right, all right. Chat, I, I do gotta be winding out here. I gotta go feed Pluto in a second. Yo, last night, yo, I gotta, I gotta ask some of my doctor, uh, of Pluto's doctor. Bruv, and, and do we have anybody in here who knows, um, do we have anybody in here who, who knows like, I know there's one vet who follows me. Yo, ever since Pluto's on these medications, which by the way, next week he's finally gonna he's gonna get a radiology of his leg, and potentially if it looks good, they're gonna take the cast off. They said they're gonna put like a soft padding thing, which means just we're getting closer and closer to him getting a fucking goofy cone off of his neck, and him get he he walks and runs now. He jumps. He's he's wilding even too much, but it's getting close to being good. Anyway. Pluto last night, he's chilling, chilling, 
I give him the command. He goes in his 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 his, his kennel, um, his cage, and, and you know he has his food. This and third, so he's eating. He's chilling. Then my boy took the nastiest, like it's like protruding, wet shit. Like he's just shit everywhere. Like this nigga, like I, TMI about it if you're eating. Pluto shit hasn't been solid in two months. And I'm wondering, is the medication doing this to him? Like my other three dogs, when they shit, and I'm sorry, I'm talking about poop, but it's solid. Him is constantly wet shit, bro. So nigga, I had to fucking wheel his big ass cage outside and grab my hose and spray that bitch down. And the nigga going the nigga gonna shart all over his cage and just look at me like, nigga, I wasn't ready to go in the cage. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> That's what he looked at me and said. I'm like, fuck. I feel like I'm a parent, man. I was cleaning shit all day. Y'all think it's a medication? So I'll tell you what they got him on. He's on two antibiotics because he had an infection on, on the on the thing. And then he's on Tramazone. Let me Google it. I never even really Google it. Tramazone. Dog. So, let me see. This. Side effects. Tramazone. Tra yeah, tras trazodone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let me see. Let me look at these. Um. Mm. Diarrhea. When it's used with other what drugs? Okay, I'm over here. I'm about to diagnose. I, I'm about to email this doctor too. I'm like, yo, bruv, why my why my dog keep? <laughs> oh, I think I do give him one of these. Like this shit is like a lot. Anyway, here's the point. Yo, Pluto has got me to throw throw out. I had five nice plush luxurious rugs in my house that nigga did not respect not one of them nigga and it's different if you like he just dropped like a like a like a solid poop on one of them my boy went over to all them shits and said yeah i know he loves his rug right here don't he love wiggling his toes in the shit let me take the nastiest wettest most disgusting shit in history Nigga, you shit on one of my rugs so much, I'm like, just throw the whole thing away, bro. Throw it away. <laughs> throw that bitch away. Anyway, I love my boy. <laughs> Somebody said, y'all hope I, I, I what? Y'all hope I take better care of my future kids? What the fuck? I think I take great care of Pluto. Bro, he, I give him the medication that the doctor give me, bro. Yo, he takes a pill that's this big. This shit is crazy. But it's, but it's, it's for the... um. Um, what do you call it again? Infection. I gotta get pet insurance or something for like his sickness. Cause that shit is it is running up a bill. I said, don't let my dogs in those rooms, nigga. He could run when when he here with me. It's our house, nigga. He can do what he want. He usually got some respect. The only thing I don't like he do, he, he because there's an other male dog, he be peeing. So he'll lift his leg up and just sprinkle, you know what I mean? And every time I'm like, nigga, why the fuck did you do that? He look at me and be like, nigga, I smelt another dog up in this bitch. I'm the only dog. And I'm like, no, nigga, you got, yeah. It's antibiotics? Fuck. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Holy. All right. All right. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right, perfect. Uh, let, let, let's get to Big Sean. I know, I'm sorry I skipped it. We, we actually got cut off in the middle of it. 